Whether you're an athlete trying to push your limit, an artist seeking to produce your opus, or the head of marketing trying to secure the next big deal, to enter that all-elusive flow state, the challenge must push you to your limit without quite pushing you over the edge. If the challenge is too easy, you're liable to get bored and disengage, too unrealistic, and you might get discouraged and give up. Before I reveal the secrets of elite performers, athletes, artists, scientists, and CEOs who enter the flow state more often than most, I'm going to reveal last week's film quote delivered by a superhero. Here it is. Do you know what is the greatest gift anyone can receive in his lifetime? The greatest gift we can receive is to have the chance just once in our lives to make a difference. That, if you haven't guessed, was Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Today's quote is from the first animated movie I'm aware of that directly references flow states. While using stunning animation to shine a light on the magic of jazz, this film is also a cautionary tale about the trap of becoming too obsessed with one's passion. The first listener to email me at creativeleaptv at gmail.com with the name of the film and actor who delivers the quote will get a free download of my latest feature film, Tour Guide Rising. You ready? The zone is enjoyable, but when that joy becomes an obsession, one becomes disconnected from life. If you're not quick enough to be the first to email me, fear not. You can still get your very own copy of Tour Guide Rising. Just go to creativeleaptv.com or now streaming on altavod.com, a streaming service for indie filmmakers. Thanks to actor, lead singer, director, and now a film distributor, Robert Schwartzman, who's launched this very site. Thanks, Robert. For only $2.99, Tour Guide Rising can be all yours. And for only 99 cents, you can rent it. Now, let us get back to the topic at hand. We're all capable of tapping into flow state. A select few seem to have that ability to tap into it almost at will. Others get periodic glimpses of it. For most though, flow state is all elusive. Some of us haven't tapped into it fully since childhood. Remember childhood? When we were undeterred and uninhibited, we didn't care about the judgment of others. We went in and out of flow state all the time, on the playground, the woods, even in our own bedrooms. Our imagination soared freely. We were living in our essence, overflowing with an abundance of creativity. That was before adolescence, when living our truth and expressing our creative spirit suddenly took a backseat to fitting in to a culture that emphasizes being like everybody else. It's easy for all of us to get trapped in a social circle of people who are carbon copies of ourselves, think the same way, agree with everything we say, and often share an all too familiar upbringing. This need to fit in extends to social media and is often accentuated by it. It can be very polarizing as we've seen in politics, food ideologies, religion. We've got to challenge ourselves travel to different places, meet new people who have opposing viewpoints, engage in discussions with these people, disagree with them respectfully rather than argue with them. This is how we grow and better understand and accept one another despite our differences. I'm going to free you of your false belief that you're not a creative being because you are. And there are certain conditions that should be in place to optimize your flow state. I'd like to present seven conditions I believe to be essential. Number one, your goals. You must be clear about them and be able to recognize what determines your progress. For example, my objective for this podcast is to educate, entertain, and inspire you to become the best version of yourself through living a healthy lifestyle, adopting a growth mindset, self-reflecting, and taking creative leaps that scare you. That's how we grow. Number two, you must have complete concentration on what you are doing. Be in the moment. 
undeterred from the outside distractions like cell phones, video games, treats in the fridge, you name it. Dial it in. Number three, your awareness and actions become one. For example, when you're writing a story, the keys on the keyboard become extensions of your fingers. The lyrics you come up with emanate from your heart and soul. Number four, self-assurance. When you lose awareness of your self-consciousness and yourself for that matter, and emerge from the flow state, a better version of yourself. Let me give you an example. When you're dialed in at the plate, you can actually see the seams on the baseball as that 90 mile per hour fastball comes hurling at you. Or in basketball, the noise of the crowd fades and all you know is the swish of the net as you land three pointer after three pointer. You're unconscious, not thinking about what anyone else thinks of you. You're beyond that in flow state and you push your limits to a place you thought previously unobtainable. Number five, gain control of what you're doing without being tied to the outcome. If you're tied to the outcome, you think about your limitations, fear creeps in. In the gym, for instance, you load the squat rack up with weights that you thought previously way too heavy for you. You got to know that your legs can handle more than your mind can. Don't let your mind limit you. You got to push your limits to grow. Number six, you have to believe that you have the ability to manipulate time. When you're in flow state, time can almost stand still or it can fly by in the blink of an eye. Like that feeling you get when you're with that special someone you're in love with. And finally, number seven, you must have intrinsic motivation. Whatever you're doing to enter that flow state, you're doing it because you want to do it. Sure, validation from others is great, but ultimately it's got to be for the internal value rather than the extrinsic or external reward. There you have it. The secrets to flow. Stay curious, be persistent, and always walk the earth with that sense of wonder and you'll become friends with flow. But be warned. When you become one who freely enters in and out of flow state, that's a beautiful thing, but it can become addictive. Embrace it when you're in it, but do not neglect relationships, responsibilities, and civic duties as a conscious being who seeks a richer, more meaningful, intense existence each and every day. Look at that. I literally just turned on my phone after powering it off during this episode so as not to disrupt my flow. And lo and behold, a caller, Bryce Baker from Corona, California. What's up, Bryce? Yeah, I was wondering. I was a linebacker at Centennial High School, Corona, California. Go Huskies. We just won the CIF championship, and man, we were like a well-oiled machine. I swear, we could read each other's thoughts and anticipate each other's moves. Is it possible for a team to get into flow state? Great question, Bryce. The answer is a resounding yes. Group flow is a beautiful thing. It happens when teams have that chemistry. All the pieces seem to fit together, as you said, and you're working together as a machine for a common goal. This collective flow doesn't just happen on the field. It happens in the boardroom, film sets, and the stage. Thanks for calling, Bryce. I hope you remember that flow state that you had with your team. And I hope you're going in and out of that flow state occasionally as an adult. If not, find out how you can. Get with groups. Get that collective mindset. We all need to do that. Build community. Unite this world through flow. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. A very important ingredient of flow. Feedback. It can be so beneficial to hear what others have to say about your work. Others can inspire new ideas, point out things you overlooked, or offer new insight into your ideas. Be careful though. You want to get that feedback from people you can trust to be objective, unbiased, and who have your best interests at heart. 
If you want to take a deeper dive into flow state, check out flowgenomeproject.com. On their site, you can take a quiz and they'll email you a 10 page flow profile to help you find your very own flow. Also, tune into their Collective Insights podcast. I'll leave links in the comments, so check those out. Right now, though, it's time for this episode's role model. But first, I've, of course, got to reveal last week's two role models, an actress and political activist who starred in films such as Kids, Rent, and Sin City. But now, her star is going to soar even higher as she takes on the role of popular Star Wars character Ahsoka in her own miniseries. I'm talking about, yeah, you know it, Rosario Dawson. She teams with gangster gardener and evolutionary artist Ron Finley in supporting the Climate Victory Gardens campaign that encourages Americans to plant regenerative backyard or community gardens to help combat climate change. To find out more, go to greenamerica.org. And I'll put a link in the show notes for that one, too. By the way, Green America's Victory Gardens has been promoted by my favorite organization, Kiss the Ground, whose mission it is to awaken people to the possibilities of regeneration and inspire participation in this movement through media, communications, education, workshops, immersive programming, and advocacy. The list goes on. And check out their film. It's a documentary, Kiss the Ground. I'll put the link in the show notes. By the way, congrats to our winner who emailed me the correct answer. Now it's time for this week's challenge. The first listener to email me at creativeleaptv at gmail.com with the name of our mystery role model will get a free download of my latest feature, Tour Guide Rising. Here we go. This man is the author of nine bestsellers out of 13 books, including The Art of Impossible, The Future is Faster Than You Think, Stealing Fire, The Rise of Superman, Bold and Abundance. He's an award-winning journalist and the executive director of the Flow Research Collective and is one of the world's leading experts on human performance. He's influenced high performers like Elon Musk, Richard Branson, Bill Clinton, the 42nd President of the United States, after reading this guy's book, Bold, said it is a visionary roadmap for people who believe they can change the world and offers invaluable advice about bringing together the partners and technologies to help them do it. Oh yeah, and this guy also once flew a MIG-17 Russian fighter jet. Just throwing that out there. When you're in flow state, you're truly alive and in the moment. What better song to end this podcast than Alive, produced by Mike Lubicki and performed by a rising star, Polly. If you're in L.A. this Saturday, December 4th at Molly Malone's, check her out. Until next time, keep taking those creative leaps in your life. Develop that growth mindset, adopt healthy lifestyle habits, and use the power of self-reflection to discover the quintessential you. I love you.